Okay, so video 47, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a fairly eagerly anticipated um, new feature that's coming with X-ray Forensics version 18.6. Currently only in the preview stage, not even out as beta yet. Uh, I think it's up to preview 7, I'm using preview 6. Um, it's no secret that a lot of the Forensic tools have had disk mounting for quite a few years. FTK Imager has since version 3. Uh, this mount image Pro has been on the scene for ages. I think NCASE has been able to mount images for a while. Um, uh, and I and I'm sure lots of people have asked the guys at X-Ways to add uh, disk image mounting for a while uh, which they have now done I'm really pleased to say but as with all things X-Ways not only have they done it but they've done it with bells on um, so there's now all kind of additional things you can do um, of significant note is the fact that you can basically mount anything that's known to the X-Ways forensic snapshot that has child objects as a mounted drive within your host operating system um, so that's really exciting and offers up a whole range of possibilities for the forensic practitioners. Um, so just a quick word of note, um, when you first run 18.6 I found it checks that you've got the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio C++ redistributable package installed. Um, if you haven't you need to install it and, and, and get it. It's only about a 6 meg download. I've given the link in the blog entry. Um, and there's also uh, a new driver that comes with 18.6 that you need to install um, to enable uh, the the, uh, the file mounting. Um, I think he said a DLL from kind of an open source project. Anyway, once that's done, um, all you do to mount an image, um, I, I've just added a, a simple image in here, and if I right click it, I can do mount as drive letter, and it comes up with this dialogue which is nice and simple, not fussy, not ridiculously large, um, just what drive letter do you want to mount it as and a load of really fancy options which are really powerful. So list previously existing items of course means that you're able to then access from the host operating system files which were deleted um, and have been detected by x Forensics. List virtual items so things like decoded web browser histories all of that lot can be additionally accessible in your mounted volume. Uh, so there's some really good options and no doubt they'll expand in the future I'm sure. Um, but even if they don't, um, I think x ray Forensics is the only tool that offers that. Um, all the others basically just give you a, um, I use the term basic, I know mounting images is not a basic task, but um, they just give you the basic functionality. Um, so if I click OK to that, it will mount the image as a drive letter which it has done there, drive P so in here I can now explore stuff and look at it uh, natively within the operating system so uh, I mentioned anything with child objects uh, if I go into here there's some email cabinets in here and uh, what you need to do in order to be able to mount them uh, for starters you have to use the directory browser window not the case data window because in the case data window it will try and uh, list obviously re recursively a file object that you click on in there um, but more significantly you have to refine the volume snapshot so that x Forensics knows that an email cabinet is an email cabinet and it knows what child objects it has so to do that we refine the volume snapshot uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this with emails, I'm not going to do it with zips and stuff for now so I just tick that box for uh, email messages so it will trundle off and very quickly process these cabinets and you can see from an earlier version of X-Ways it just adds the, the PSTs and what have you into the case data window um, but now if I, uh, like this this is only a really small a DBX, but if I right click that, I can now mount it as a drive letter. So if I do that as well, let's drive P, it will get rid of the previous mount and remount this. There's my uh, email, which I can just open with whatever native client I've got, in this case, Mozilla Thunderbird. So that would be really useful for checking individual email messages when you don't need to export the whole thing. Um, I am assuming that uh, you might be able to do this with with virtual 
uh, drives as well, or they're thinking about it. X Race Forensics doesn't at the moment process a, uh, a virtual machine that's within an image. You have to export it out and add it back in. Um, and given the child object caveat, that probably won't apply. Um, but maybe it will in the future. Um, so yeah, uh, really pleased they've added it. Looking forward to uh, what other functionality comes with it in the future.